Hi, it's Leslie, Sister Wives. And we find Cody and Janelle still talking about why they never um, actually tried to reconcile. Cody says, you know, Janelle was never in love with him and I don't think he was in love with her either. He was in love with anyone but Robin, we find out. But we have found out this. There was definitely physical compatibility. Yeah. 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 Well, everything was very good in that department. La 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 la. I absolutely cannot picture this, nor do I want to. Hard to imagine. I don't know what to make of that. But okay, we will accept that, I guess. But of course, we're reminded about my second favorite clip from this season. And let's just, they've gotten so much mileage out of this clip. So why shouldn't I get some mileage out of it too? So let's just take a look back. I need you to stop blaming me for everything and start being culpable for what you have done. That is you made accountability. This about all these other problems that we have that we can't sleep under. I this did became, not. Yes, you did. I did you not. I did not. I did not. One of my favorites. But why is Cody even considering trying to save his marriage with Janelle? Granted, there are six kids. It's not like he's desperate to have those relationships back because he does nothing to try to get those relationships back with his kids. So why? Why? I don't think Cody really does hold out hope for me. I think he felt it feels like he promised Robin a plural family. Ding, 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 ding. That would be the right answer, Cody. That's exactly why you want to get back with Janelle. And we all know it. And she knows it too. But this week, we learned something very interesting about all of these relationships. Um, no, no, not the relationship with Robin, though. Cody set these relationships up in a dynamic that you basically, if you were the wife, the sister wife, you had to earn his love. Well, that sounds healthy and fair. For him, it became about, I needed to co-parent, I needed to be less independent, I needed to do all these things in order to earn that relationship. And I'm like, dude, I, no, I don't need to earn a relationship. I always felt like... I needed to do something to earn love or earn acceptance, or I had to do something a certain way. And and something dawned on me when I hear about how, you know, all these wives were basically just working their butts off to try to get the affection of Cody and make him love them, I guess, or whatever, or want to be around them and want to be around their kids, which is ridiculous. But I realized that is why you have to marry them young, because it was like 19 years old, 20 you cannot get that, like, if those wives grow up or whatever, they're never going to go for this nonsense. You can't go up to a 30-year-old and say, hey, you want to just be a servant to me? They're not going to go for it. So you got to get them young. That is key for polygamy. You got to be 18, 19, start grooming them and marry them quick before they come to their senses. Just marry them quick. And that's exactly what he did. It's just so pathetic with Mary. I mean, she's still hanging on. I just, oh my God, someone needs to slap some sense into her. I mean, her downfall, as sad as it is to say, was that she only had one kid. I mean, your worth is wrapped up in, in those children. And Janelle, I guess, was was tolerable to hang around with. And she had six kids. So, you know, I, he, he couldn't stomach Christine. So he had to let those that go by the wayside. So Mary and Cody have called it quits. And of course, the one, the, the one that's most devastated is Robin. Is Robin, of course. Where is her love for Cody? Which I'm convinced she's not in love with him either. Um, but he's in love with her because if she loved him at all, why would she want to torture him with this situation and pushing that a relationship he has no interest in? I don't get that. And this whole thing is very weird. I guess Mary is going to talk with Cody and ask Robin to come along because as Robin has pronounced to all everybody is that she speaks Cody. And if that isn't a big power ego move, I mean, if you want to separate yourself, do something like that. That's ridiculous trying to control all these relationships makes me sick. But anyway, Mary wanted along because she realizes Robin probably has more influence over Cody than anybody. So why not have her pleading her case? It's better than anything else because she knows she can't, she can't get him to come around. But that speaking Cody nonsense, I would love someone to ask her about that and say, does that really create wives that are all on equal footing? I don't think so. And now we have this whole ring thing. Um, I guess Mary noticed at one point that Cody wasn't wearing his ring or whatever. And it was very curious because they did not want to get in that conversation at all. And here's how Robin reacted. Sorry, I'm distracted by your ring. That's a different ring. Just a ring. So are you going to actually <laughs> what? address the concern that you have? What concern? I mean, if that really followed that conversation, you could tell she did not want to have a conversation about that ring. She was very uncomfortable there and just kept that combo moving. Oh, but Mary, it makes me crazy. You know that saying, actions speak louder than words? Why does she have to wait for these words? She has 
have had endless actions from Cody that he has no interest in her. I mean, I, I shudder to even think this. Could he, but could he possibly have like an ounce of compassion and he just doesn't want to say, or say it straight to her face? Like, I am not attracted to you. I do not want to sleep with you. I don't want anything to do with you. Could it be that he has like a soft spot that he actually doesn't want to be that cruel and yet he can say everything to everybody else because you know, whatever. So, but his actions are his actions and she's just counting on the fact that he doesn't have the guts to say it to her face. Well, he's fine. He said it. Thank God. But Mary was just still hanging on, waiting. I've seen the kind Cody Brown. I've seen the happy Cody Brown. I've seen the giving and the loving Cody Brown. Mm -hmm. You have? When? And why haven't we seen it? Nobody's seen that. Uh, uh, where is he? We left town, I think. But anyway, let's press on. But obviously Mary being committed was just, it was, it was just a crock. It was just a crock of shit, the whole commitment thing. He, he just latched onto whatever excuse he could use at the time to get rid of somebody. And Mary's committed and he wants nothing to do with her, whatever. But Mary says this. I'm not gonna just be like, well, you're a jerk, so I'm leaving this committed marriage. Why not? People have left for lesser reasons than that. That's as good as reason as any. People leave because the guy leaves the toilet seat up or something like that. You can leave because he's a jerk and he treats you like shit. That's a great reason. It's just so annoying how Mary goes on that Cody has hurt her and all these things. And I just keep thinking she is allowing herself to be hurt. You're, you're basically standing there as somebody punches you. Anybody else would have gotten out of the way and left. You don't just stand there and be punched. So Cody and Mary have come to the terms of their separation. The only one that left uh, unable to cope and process it, that would be Robin, of course. Sobbin Robin. I can't do it one-sided, Robin. I've tried. I know, I know. And I'm not gonna continue living lonely either. It's not fair to me. And it's just so sad that the two that break up have to console the other one who we don't even understand why she cares so much. She should care about her husband and his feelings and that he would be happier. But no, she cares about herself. And as if Mary hasn't been just like punched around so many times, Christine and her big old mouth, and you could tell she's just over it. She's living her best life over there with David, her, her fiance and everything. But I guess she tells the story about how Cody was didn't want to be attached to Mary, didn't want Mary having control over him, and he melted down the ring, and and that was before he met Robin, which is crazy. He melted down the ring, kept the diamonds, because he's not stupid, money's money. That's what this show's all about. It's about the moolah. But anyway, melted down the ring, kept the diamonds, kept the gold, and um, that was that. And I guess that's about as... I mean, talk about actions, man. That's about as clear as it gets. No words could be clearer than that, Mary. But I guess Christine tells the story and Mary finds out later and is pissed because it was not Christine's story to tell. But you know what? You're on a reality TV show, Mary. Everything is fair game. You know, you got to get used to it. You know, why now? Why have pride now and ego? You've been just like, ugh, you know, too little, too late. It's all out there anyway. But we're just going to leave with this clip of Mary. Oh, my voice will be heard. I will no longer be silent. Well, if those aren't fighting words, it's about time, Mary. But you know what? It's because Christine and Janelle laid the way for you and you finally got the gumption, the balls to do it. And it's about time that you're gonna stick up for yourself and get out of, get out of Dodge and, and that Robin start to live her best life with Cody. Anyway, I follow this nonsense every week and it is nonsense, I tell you. Anyway, I follow it every week, so if you wanna Follow along, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get reminded every time I post a new video because I post every week. And I will see you next week. Bye.